Hi guys, uh, today I thought I'd talk to you about something that I've only just recently started doing and that's dumpster diving. So I started dumpster diving um, because I'm aware of how much food waste there is um, produced by supermarkets and I'd done some research on dumpster diving before and I'm a member of a couple of groups on Facebook and I thought I'd give it a go. This is just a recent thing. I've only just started doing this this month, um, uh, you know, just after New Year's and I'm addicted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unpack everything, wash it all and show you just how much I got out of my dumpster haul tonight. Okay, we're back guys, and I thought I'd just show you my dumpster diving haul for tonight. So a lot of different things, which is really good. Um, as you can see, I have five bunches of roses. Um, I don't know if it's a Valentine's Day thing or not, but uh, the last couple of times that I've gone dumpster diving, I've been pulling out bunches of flowers and roses. So um, it's really good. Um, they're not that bad. You know, I personally wouldn't, if they were in this condition, I wouldn't pay money for them in the shop. So I understand why they are in the dumpster. Um, and as you and like, if you look at the price, they're $12, so $12 a bunch. You know, if you're going to spend $12 on a bunch of flowers, you'd want them to be in good condition. But hey, when you're picking them out of the dumpster for free, you it's not a bad deal to have a lovely bunch of roses in your house for another week. And that's how long most of these will last for. I will get a week out of these. It's been great. Um, the other interesting thing that I picked out was this packet of gluten-free Anzac biscuits. So... I have no idea why this was in the dumpster. I looked over the packet and I cannot see any holes or tears. And I checked the expiry date. It's the 22nd of the 12th, 2022, so this year. So they're not due to expire for a year. So I don't get why they're in the dumpster. But anyway, my husband likes Anzac biscuits. I'm not sure if he'll like the gluten-free version but hey when you get them for free it's worth a try and it might be a pleasant surprise he was actually asking me for Anzac biscuits the other day um okay so over to the fresh produce so everything has been cleaned and washed and what we have today like heaps of stone fruit which makes sense it is in the season but um this is a whole bunch of plums here um, they were basically in a packet and there were two plums in the whole packet. They were squashed. So what I did is I put the squash plums in my worm farm. We have um, a worm farm out the back. Um, and so the worms will love digesting a squash plum. But that's the thing and that's often the thing with a lot of this food waste is you have two plums out of the whole packet that's squashed and the rest of these are perfectly fine look they're really firm as well so they're definitely um, not overripe or anything and yeah because two plums were squashed the whole packet got thrown out it's just such a waste and it's a disappointment but I understand why no one's going to want to buy a packet of plums with two squashed plums in it but yeah it's just a shame that no attempt is actually made to um, rescue this food otherwise you know um, same with these nectarines uh, there was about two or three that were squashed actually one was squashed and there was two that had like really bad bruises or marks on them so the squashed one went into the worm farm as well but the ones that were just a little bit bruised I'm actually going to give them to my chickens so I have chickens out the back as well. I've got three chickens and that's how this whole dumpster diving thing started was I was like, well, if they're just going to chuck out all this food, you know, my chickens will eat it. So that's what I did. And that's what this bag is here. 
So this bag is basically just full of, most of it is those off cuts of cauliflower leaves that they just chuck out. Like every time I go dumpster diving, these are in there. So my chickens love to eat that. But then there's often other things in there, like there's a bag of lettuce. Um, you know, here's another apple. As you can see, this apple is looking a little bit, you know, tired. Um, but my chickens will love to eat that. So I'll cut that up. I'll take the sticker off, of course. I'll cut that up and I'll give it to my chickens and they'll have a meal of this. Um, I'll wash this first, of course, because I'm worried about pesticides and that sort of thing. I don't want to, you know, I don't want my chickens to ingest a whole bunch of pesticides. So tomorrow I'll take this outside. I'll wash it in a bucket and then I'll take it out to my chickens and they'll have a munch. Okay. So with the plums and the nectarines, I'm not sure what I'll do with them yet because I haven't really had a glut of plums and nectarines before. So if you guys got any suggestions, put a comment down below. But I'm thinking maybe with the plums, um, barbecue sauce or maybe a plum Worcestershire sauce, something like that. Something that I'll use. I don't really like to make jams because um, I don't. I don't really eat jam a lot. I have about five jars of jam in my pantry um, that have been given to me as gifts by people and I haven't touched them because I don't eat jam. I'm trying to, you know, not consume as much sugar. So I just don't, I just don't have jam. But anyway, so I'll find something to make with those. Uh, lemons. I actually already have heaps of lemons, but I picked these out anyway because they just looked um, really fresh. I Yeah, I... I don't understand why they throw fresh produce out like ugh. anyway um so what i usually do with a glut of lemons is i'll usually juice these and then uh freeze the juice in ice cube trays and then keep um keep it in the freezer until i need um lemon juice so that's what re that's really good for um I've got this lone Granny Smith apple. It's a bit bruised, but I rescued it because uh, Granny Smith apples come in handy for when you are making things like sauces or jams. Not that I'm going to make jam, but you know what I mean? Like they usually, a lot of recipes usually call for a Granny Smith apple. It just provides the pectin um, that you need to make whatever it is that you, you're making. Um, so I, I kept that because... I'm going to be cooking with it, so what does it matter if it's a bit bruised? A um, couple of capsicums. Uh, my chickens, they're a bit soft, so I'm not actually sure if I'll eat these capsicums, but I picked them out anyway because the core of the capsicums, that's got all the seeds in it, my chickens love eating those seeds. As soon as I chuck them in the pen, they're just all over that. They just love those seeds, so... Um, whether I eat these or not, um, my chickens will at some point. So we'll see. Um, okay, so we've got some grapes. Um, there was actually more grapes than this, but a lot of them were loose. So I just, I just took these because they were mainly still in the bunch and I've washed them. Um, and they're fresh. I don't know why they were chucked out. Like, um, I think there was like one or two that were like, you know, bit dodgy but who doesn't buy a bag of grapes that has a dodgy grape on it i don't know um celery so i've this was actually a bunch of celery but i've trimmed off the tops mainly to help with storage and like cleaning them it makes it easier to clean celery if it's like this and for storage it just takes up less room in my um in my fridge when they're like this um but you know these are actually it's really it's actually really still crisp um, if you put these in water they'll crisp up even more and you can use them as celery sticks as you know for healthy snacks and stuff but um, I also love to add celery in for soups and uh, making veggie stock so that's the other thing okay and tomatoes so there was heaps of tomatoes in this haul um, and I went through and I picked kind of like the best ones. Some, some of them like this are actually really still quite firm. 
like you know if you bought a bag of tomatoes you know after a week this that's what that would feel like like yeah it's not that bad there's a few that are a little bit more um squishy like you know um this one would probably really need to be cooked straight away so what i'm probably going to do i'm either going to make um a tomato ketchup which i often do or um a homemade um, pasta sauce so that whenever I feel like pasta or noodles or meatballs and spaghetti or something I've just got a homemade pasta sauce ready to just throw into the pan okay so that's what I love to do with um, a lot of tomatoes so there you go that's my uh, haul for tonight um, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope this has given you um, inspiration Okay, so fast forward and I thought I'd show you what I ended up doing with all that produce that I got out of the dumpster. I have one big jar of plums and syrup and two smaller jars of nectarines and syrup. So this was really easy to make. It's basically um, you steam the plums or you steam the nectarines. Um, you peel the skins off, um, cut them, put them inside the jar and then fill them up with a sugar syrup of your liking so this sugar syrup has a bit of orange juice has a bit of cinnamon has a bit of vanilla it's a recipe um, that I just found on the internet and I added it um, to the jar and just topped it off and then I can use this as um, you know toppings for pancakes ice cream um, even if you've just got normal cream, um, you can just uh, put it in a bowl with some of this and it tastes really nice. The other thing I like to do is if I'm trying to have a health conscious or low calorie dessert, I might make jelly and put uh, some of this inside the jelly and eat it like a, yeah, just have like a fruity jelly. It's really nice. Okay, so that's the plums and nectarines. Now, this is the tomato. So, what I usually do, if I buy pasta sauce from the shops and use it, I keep the jar, wash it, and I just keep the label on so that I know that in here is pasta sauce. So, I don't have to go and put another label on like I did with these guys. Okay, so um, inside this jar is actually my own homemade pasta sauce that are made from all those tomatoes that you saw um, so that made one full jar of tomato sauce it's got basil in it um, and garlic and onion and all, all those other delicious things so yeah just goes to show guys that um, the food that you get out of a dumpster is actually not that bad and if you're organized and uh, experienced with how to preserve fruits and veggies you can actually make uh, some produce that you know would not probably be the freshest but you can still use it you don't have to waste it and you can give it another life and honestly um, it's actually much tastier to have you know plums and syrup or a nice pasta sauce um, sometimes so I'm just gonna stock these in my pantry and that's it all right, um, I hope you like this video. Uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more and uh, have a good weekend. Bye.